thank him for the miracle of sleeping awake, appreciate him, exalt him, extol him, bless his holy name, bless his holy name, worship him, thank him. All through the night, you were like a baby. You couldn't defend yourself, he defended you. You couldn't help yourself, he helped you. Thank him. Thank him for yesterday. Appreciate him. Thank him for things he would do today. Thank him for everything. Thank him for your life. Thank him for how faithful he's been, in spite and despite. Appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, ye na kam. Oh, ye ya kam. So give ye ya kam. Oh, ye ya kam. Jesus, you're my heart. Oh, ye ya kam. Oh, ye ya Karabaka satarabha. So give oh, yeah. Jesus, you're my only. Oh, yeah, come, oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. So give oh, yeah. Jesus, you're my only Lord. My foundation, my protection, my atmosphere, my sweet fear. In you I live and have my being, Jesus, my Lord. My foundation, my foundation, my protection, my atmosphere. My sweet fear in you I live and I might be in Jesus. My holy name. Oh, ye are come, oh, ye are Karabaka Satarabaka. So give, oh, ye are Hallelujah. Jesus, you're one more time. Oh, ye ya come, oh, ye ya come. Oh, ye ya come. So give, oh, ye ya come. Oh, ye ya come. Jesus, you're my foundation. Sing it again. My foundation. Jesus. Jesus, my atmosphere, my sweeping. In you I live and I might be in Jesus. My foundation, Lord, my foundation, my protection, my atmosphere, my sweeping. In you I live and I might be in Jesus. Let me hear your voices. Oh, ye ya come, oh, ye ya come. Make it louder. Oh, ye ya come. So give, oh, ye ya come. Oh, ye ya come. Jesus, you're my own. Father, we thank you because we will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. You're going to lift your voice as we start to hear God's word. You're going to say, angels ordained for my promotion. Can you make it louder? Can you command them? In the name of Jesus, appear. Pray that prayer. Now begin to talk about everything. That represents your promotion. Angels ordained for my promotion appear in the name of Jesus. Appear. 
Appear. Appear. In the name of Jesus. Appear. Angels ordained for my promotion. Let your heart pray. Let your mouth pray. Let your eyes pray. That thing that has been delayed, command it to come forth. Angels ordained for my promotion. In the name of Jesus, appear. Now begin to command those things. That job, that promotion, that enlargement, begin to command it to come. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a hand as you have your seats. John 15 verse 4. John 15 verse 4. I want to read from verse 4. I will read verse 5. Then I will go to verse 7. Abide in me. And I in you. Abide in me. Not visit. Abide. Stay. Be consistent in me. And I will be consistent in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. The next time you are tempted not to pray, the next time you are tempted to break your union with Christ, remind yourself that you are a branch and you cannot bear fruit of yourself unless you abide in the vine. That's why you see Christians, we, we don't have a lot of people that inspire us. Because even if you see anybody making it, it's because they did something they are not proud about. We don't have a lot of people. I'm not saying they don't exist. We don't have a lot of people that inspire us. But even if you doubt any word you've heard, you should not doubt the words of Jesus. Satan came to him and found nothing in him. God wants you to champion something unless he abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. In verse 5, the Bible says, I am the vine. So with no ambiguity, he's repeating it for the second time. I am the vine. You are the branches. In case somebody says in the original Greek, uh, you, are not the, you are not the branches. You know what it really means contextually. No, he says you are the branches. I am the vine. He who abides in me. He who abides in me and I in him, that kind of person will be much fruit. Will be much fruit. And when I talk about fruit, there are many ways you can look at it. Don't let anybody deceive you that God just wants you to go to heaven and wants you to be poor here. Psychological fruit, mental fruit. There are a lot of things that will not happen to you because you are staying with God. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah? This morning, I was studying Philippians chapter 4. When I got to verse 4, it says rejoice evermore. I say again, rejoice. And the Holy Ghost told me that's the antidote to mental health. There is nobody who is rejoicing and makes his lifestyle rejoicing in the Lord that we want to commit suicide. It's not possible. It's not possible. So I may share on that this evening. <laughs> Rejoice in the Lord. Always, not sometimes. He didn't say be happy. Because happiness is based on happiness. But joy is unspeakable. It's something you do in the spirit. In Nehemiah 8 verse 10, the Bible says, return home. Share what you have with people that don't have. Don't let the enemy take your joy because the joy of the Lord is your strength. That thing that wants to take your joy wants to take your strength. Therefore, don't let anything take your joy in the name of Jesus. In verse 5 of John 15, he said, whoever abides in me and I abide in him, how to abide in God is to abide in the word. And if the word is alive in you, what will happen? is that you begin to rejoice. 
Bible says you can do nothing without me. In verse 7, if you abide in me, he says that again, if, if, which means it's not every branch in him that abides in him. I challenge you this morning, you're watching me on the TV or you're watching me in your car, any way you're watching, I challenge you, abide in Christ and measure your results. Try and monitor your life. Abide, not visit. Abide, stay in him. He said, unstable as waters, you will not excel that way. Therefore, I prophesy. If you be unstable, you'll be stable in the name of Jesus. Anything sponsoring you going up and down, and I attack it by the blood of Jesus. Your interest will change. So shall it be. If... If, if, apodosis and protasis, if a condition that brings a consequence, if you abide in me. And what I mean is that if my word abides in you, you will ask. The word ask is what I tell. It's not saying, please, I will need this. No, it means demand. When you demand in the name of Jesus, I'm the head and not the tail. Whatever you say will come to pass. It will be done for you when you stay in the word. Okay? Praise the Lord. In case you know somebody in your life, say, how do they speak and it will come to pass? What the world knows is that you, you put jazz in your mouth. But Christ is telling you, the fake exists because the real exists. If you abide in me, and my words abiding. That's why when you are praying in tongues, the Holy Ghost will give you a word like a javelin. He just passes something to you because the word is the sword of the spirit. What he will use to fight for you is the word. You will demand what you desire. Do you need anything clearer than that? What you desire, you will demand it and it will be done for you. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, from today, as you demand, it will happen. Amen. Whatever you bind shall be bound. Amen. Whatever you lose shall be loosed. Amen. Whatever you declare improper shall be declared improper. Amen. A yes on earth will be a yes in heaven. Amen. If you believe you shout amen like fire. Amen. In 2 Corinthians 3 verse 4. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 4. The Bible says, and we, we have sought trust through Christ towards God. We have this kind of trust through Christ towards God. In verse 5, the Bible says, not that we are sufficient in ourselves. To think anything has been from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God. Why do we doubt? Why do we get negative immediately? You weigh things by your strength. I say, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is not me you are talking about you know, you know how can my life just change how can things just happen you don't know that the, a word from God can change your life I was preaching not too long ago and I read the scripture Job 22 and I said you lay gold down like dust and somebody called his lawyer and said, register that company. Check whether it's taken. And they registered it. He came to me yesterday. And he was sharing a testimony of billions with me. Maybe I preached that sermon two months ago. He said, I woke up. He said to me, 700,000 was in my account when I woke up. I slept that night with billions. And he explained everything to me. No fraud there. No fraud. You are busy analyzing things. Our sufficiency is of God. Our sufficiency. And I spent time talking to him, despite all the people that came to see me, because the story was interesting to me. In the name of Jesus, your testimony will make news in the city. Those who have been mocking your prayers, they will bow before your maker. That amen can be louder. Amen. Say after me, my sufficiency, my sufficiency is, from God. is from God. 
in other words, the ability I have, the ability to change, the ability to be transformed, everything about me. And he says something that changed my life. He said, Pastor, there's grace here. You know, a lot of people get familiar. And let me tell you something. Divine familiarity brings content. Familiarity brings contempt. And I'm telling you, if you've been in church for a long time, I'm not talking about this church, you've been a Christian for a long time, they've always taken you to church. There's a way, there's a disposition you have towards God. He that comes to God must know. Must is not if, not me. Must know. Hebrews 11, 6, that he is. Then he will become. Ginoma is the Greek word. You will become. You must believe. You must. So attendance does not change your life. You must believe. Now, when I was reading that Job 22, there were a lot of people in church. If he just came and called his lawyer, he said, I didn't even know why I registered it. And I'm saying somebody is here or somebody is listening to me that will share that kind of testimony. Because someone's testimony is your prophecy. If you believe it, shout amen like fire. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 40, verse 29. Isaiah 40, verse 29. Bible says it gives power to the weak. And those who have no strength increases their strength. So if you are telling me, Pastor Bedou, you don't have might. Yes. Paul says, I will glory my weakness. He's not talking about sin. If I'm not able to do that thing, I will rejoice because I have a standby. What does your standby generator do? When Nepa takes light, it kicks on. You can't conclude on me. That's why no weapon formed against me can prosper. Because you weigh me, I have another strength. That you cannot weigh. It's unending. It can change. Oh, come on, talk to me. You know what the devil did to somebody? He attacked your mind so that no matter what you hear, you just agree and say, oh, nice word. It will never sink. <laughs> and if it doesn't enter your heart, the language that God hears is the one that enters your heart. I pray in the name of Jesus, your story will change. I say your story will change. Even the Bible says in verse 30, even the youth shall faint and be weary. My last son told me, Daddy, I'm never tired. He's always running. You tell him to go somewhere, he will run to go there. We tell him at home, don't run, don't run. Walk. He can't walk. He has to run. He has strength. Even the young people, they get to a level, they faint. That's to tell you, young people don't faint. Young lions never grow hungry. The young men utterly fall. That's impossible. Because young men, their emblem is strength. But those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew. The word renew is exchange. You take your weakness and give to God and take God's strength. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. Every other person flaps. They mount up with wings like eagle. They run and they're not weary. The Bible says they walk and they don't faint. In Isaiah 41, tap your neighbor, say, We're going to pray today. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Say that to your neighbor, say, Fear not, for God is with you. No matter what you're dealing with, God is with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. What will I do? I will strengthen you, yes. I will help you. Do you need help if you can do it by yourself? So why do you weigh what you're expecting by your strength? He said, I will help you. And what I will do, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I will uphold you. When you read the rest of the scripture, you'll see that God turned a worm into an iron. Therefore, in the, this year, you will beat down every investment of hell. Amen. You will beat down every investment of hell. Amen. In Isaiah 45, verse 24. Isaiah 45, verse 24. It says, surely, 
In the Lord, I have righteousness and strength, not in myself. In the Lord, I have strength. The Bible says, therefore. <laughs> if you read the KJV, you see a sign there. Therefore, to him men shall come, and all shall be ashamed who are incensed against him. To that person, give me the KJV. Even to him, the person that called God is strength. Even to him, even to him, shall men come. Men will bow before you. Those who are incensed against you, they shall become nothing before you. In the name of Jesus. By the time what you're dealing with is over, only you and God will be standing. All that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. Shall be ashamed. So shall he be in the name of Jesus. In Philippians 4.13, Philippians 4.13, we're going to read some versions. Philippians 4.13. Hallelujah. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You will not be blessed until you have a background story of this. I don't have time to share that with you, but I want to say something. This man did not write this in the comfort of his home. He wrote this in the prison with chains in his heart, bars all around him. He shouted, Devil, you know what? I can do all things. <laughs> in the prison? Yes. Check out his life after he came out of that prison. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, any circumstance, any situation that said you will not amount to anything, you will not become what God has said concerning you, let them bow before you right now. Read my lips. Maintain your confession. Maintain, no matter what happens, maintain your confession. No matter your medical report, maintain your confession. No matter what is happening, your bank account maintain your confession. Let me say this to you. There are three things you do that make me know that you have a future. There is no jazz, no divination anywhere that can stand against it. Number one, you maintain a confession. You will come out of anything. Number two, the Holy Spirit, when you maintain union with him, you will come out of anything. Number three, your seed. You can sow a seed and come out of anything. This is a mystery that not everybody knows about. You can change your future by what you say. By maintaining contact, union with the Holy Ghost, you can become anything. And your seed. This man wrote what he wrote from the prison. If you see the TPT version of Philippians 4.13, remember, I need to rush through this because I want us to pray. Philippians 4.13, TPT. Bible says, For I am trained in the secret of overcoming all things, whether in fullness or in hunger. That's verse 12. And I find that the strength of Christ's explosive power infuses me to conquer every difficulty. That difficulty has not existed that you can't conquer. Oh, I don't know if you read kind of thing in books like I do. He said, I can heal any disease. It just take time. I can, I can do anything. It just take time. Just keep in that person. It may take time, it may be short, it may be long, but I can do anything with faith. <laughs> what a statement. Jesus said, as long as I'm on the earth, I'm the light of the world. As long as I'm here. <laughs> I am statements. Bold statements. He said, I can do anything through Christ. I have strength by Christ's explosive Power that infuses me to conquer every difficulty. <laughs> Go and read the narrative when Jesus Christ was at the Garden of Gethsemane. He was about to be arrested. 
Then the Roman soldiers came with torches. Then they appeared, battalions of soldiers, to arrest one person. Who are you here for? He said, we are here to catch Jesus Christ. He said, I am. You know, he's been praying for two hours. <laughs> when he said, I am, the Bible says a naked boy was seen. That ran away. You know the meaning of that? Jewish people don't bury people with clothes. And they didn't bury people like we bury people. Remember the dead body of Elisha? The bones woke somebody up because they used to lie people down in a tomb, in a sepulcher. So there was a sepulcher in that garden. That boy was buried. The family left. When he said, I am, there was a power that came. The boy rose from the dead. He ran away. He, he didn't know what happened. Go and read it. That's the power you carry. Of his fullness have we received. Grace for grace. You know the problem between your ears, your mind. The enemy educated you before you started learning the Bible. So there's a conflict. There's a war going on. There's a battle going on. The problem of poor people is no money. It's their mentality. Their mentality. Can you see one billion and give the owner? Something tells you, like Egan. Yeah? If I give the owner this, where will I see another one? Mentality. Mindset between your ears. Say, I can do all things. I'm not enjoying you. Say, I can do all things. Through Christ. That strengthens me. Let's read verse 13 in message translation and then we'll stop praying. Whatever I have, wherever I am, I can make it through anything. In the one who makes me who I am. The one who makes me. There is a maker. He said, Peter, follow me. I will make you. Without me, you can do nothing. Rest your feet. Remember, Paul declared in the prison, I can do all things. Shortly, we're going to start declaring. Somebody here, your life will change. As you pray boldly. Without a doubt. You know the missing ingredient in your faith? Confidence. Confidence. He that comes to God must believe that he is. That's when things will start happening. The Bible says the fervent, James 5.16, effectual prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous. Heartfelt, continued prayer. Not what you pray casually. Makes tremendous powerful. And it's dynamic and it's working. We're going to pray and declare loudly. Say, so waste us. In the name of Jesus. They will not come near me. In the name of Jesus. Oppression will be far from me. Anything representing terror will be far from me. In the name of Jesus. Say again, say, waste us. Will not come near me. In the name of Jesus. May I be far from oppression. Anything representing terror shall be far from me. Make that declaration. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Never again will you be afraid of famine. In the name of Jesus, say, wasters will not come near me. Will not come near my family. Will not come near my children. Wasters will not come near my destiny. In the name of Jesus, may I be far from oppression. Begin to stand against anything that your father has not represented in your life. May I be far from oppression. Anything representing terror shall be far from me. Pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. Karabaka satarababa. Sheterebo kosotorobo. Karabababababa. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. We have a lot of prayers to pray in a short while. So when we declare it, you attack. Say in the name of Jesus. Can you make it louder? Say in the name of Jesus. The encounter that will elevate me in this season. Come to me now. 
in the name of Jesus, the encounter that will elevate me in this season. Come to me now. Pray that prayer, declaring with boldness. Call it forth. Call it forth. Don't joke with it. Don't think you are sermonizing. I can't hear you. Are you passionate about your life enough? Do you believe the encounter that will elevate me in this season? Come to me now. Come to me now. Come to me now. In the name of Jesus from the north, come. From the south, come. From the east, come. From the west, come. The encounter that will elevate me. Come to me now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. May you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, everything chasing opportunities from me. Can you make it louder? Yes. Can you make it louder? Yeah. Your time is up. Catch fire. Pray that prayer. Anything. Chasing opportunities. Your time is up. You shall decree a theme and that thing shall be established for you. Anything chasing opportunities from me. Your time is up. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Stretch forth your hands, everybody. Job 22, 21. I want to read the scripture to you. Now acquaint yourself with, with him, with God, and be at peace. Thereby, good will come to you. Now I pray from my heart for you. I want your amen to rise like thunder. Let good come to you. May good come unto you. May good come to you. The good in the north, the good in the south, the good in the east, the good in the west, let them come to you. It's sevenfold, amen. Yes, yes. Stretch out those hands. In verse 23, if you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. I command, in the name of Jesus, be built up. Do you believe what I'm saying this morning? Everywhere you turn, this year in the name of Jesus, everything that will build you up, let them begin to happen to you. Oh, I'm just a tiny lady. In the name of Jesus, the God that made the way in the middle of the Red Sea, let him make a way for you. Be built up. 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 If you believe it, shout amen like fire. Now put your hand on your head and make some dangerous declarations. Be built up. Be built up. Anything that doesn't want you to be built up, we stand against it now. We come against it by the blood of Jesus. Be built up. Any evil mark, things that make people hate you for a while, unexplainable hatred in the name of Jesus, out of your life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I want you to shout, put your hand down, say my life. Receive the mandate to be fruitful. Can you make it louder? Yes. Again. Anything sponsoring on fruitfulness with her. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Anything sponsoring on fruitfulness anywhere with her. I can't hear you.
command it. Tell it to go. Tell that experience to go. Anything sponsoring on fruitfulness in your life, let it wither. Let it wither. My life received the mandate to be fruitful. That mandate, be fruitful. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Pray about your life. Pray about your destiny. Receive the mandate to be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, every unfruitfulness, anything sponsoring unfruitfulness, whether they buried it or they spoke it in the air or it is in the sea, wither right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, I can do all things. Maintain your confession. Maintain your confession. Maintain your union with the Holy Ghost. And anything God tells you to do, seed is not only money. So your life as a sacrifice, and your life will not remain the same. Lift up your hands and receive it with thanksgiving.